Hey guys, what's up? A very, very warm welcome to all of you. I hope all you guys are having a super amazing afternoon going on. Now, guys, guess what? Today's session is going to be super cool because we are going to be talking about Thor's lightning. Okay, or it is going to be the story of lightning is what we are going to be understanding right today. So again, a very warm welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders and to, my and to my class. My name is Mohan, Master Teacher of Science from Vedantu. So tell me, guys, are you all ready? Hi, Rashmikant. Hi Alima, hi Hemlata, hi hi, big hi to all of you guys. I hope all you guys are ready. Yes, shall we start? Shall we start? All right, cool. So guys, if you guys are on Instagram, you can follow me. Don't forget to follow me. It's my handle. Okay. Now, do not forget to uh, yes, subscribe, share, and like this comment, and also do share this with all of your friends. And subscribe to Vedantu Young Wonders because apart from this class, you also get so many other amazing sessions for your grades. For all the subjects okay check it out now so moving forward guys <clears throat> yes how many of you guys have seen this scene have you guys seen this scene have you guys seen this scene yeah where where you know where in uh, uh the end game thor jumps and then strikes the lightning towards everybody is the, one of the scenes where i got goosebumps beautiful scene right but did thor's hammer create thunder and lightning is it capable of doing it yes so thor is the god of thunder and lightning because his hammer his hammer is able to you know uh, create that thunder and lightning it can be struck to anybody but let's keep thor aside and try to understand how exactly lightning happens when it comes to science all right because we know that there are so many stories out there which people tell you know it's because of god indra it's because of zeus it's because of that it's because gods are angry so many such stories revolving around everywhere but this session is going to be a session where you understand the basic science behind lightning okay very 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 super cool but the main thing right here is, guys, we have all seen sparks in our life, right? When you take two wires, a positive and a negative, strike it, we can see sparks happening in that wires, isn't it? Have you guys seen sparks? Now, these sparks are just like lightning. But in the sky, it happens in a bigger scale. But in the wires, it is just a small, you know, strike. Got it? So how does this lightning even happen? let's have a look at this okay now we'll use a whiteboard we'll use the help of Guddu to understand how exactly lightning happens let's quickly go to our whiteboard here it is so yep on a very hot summer day okay the air becomes hot and we all know what happens to hot air hot air raises up okay and then you know what happens along with hot air we also have uh, you know water vapor going up and everything they form clouds so evaporation followed by condensation happens all right <coughs> cool now on the other hand there is rain falling down after condensation precipitation is happening it's raining so what you can notice is there are two things happening at the same time one is the upward winds the other side there is rain falling down so this vigorous movements because of all this movement what is happening is the charges present in the cloud so if you take a cloud let's say these are the two clouds beautiful clouds the charges present in the clouds are separated for example what happens actually is all the positive charges get accumulated at the top of the cloud the charges are getting separated and all the negative charges get accumulated at the bottom of the cloud. Got it. Which chapter is this? This comes in your some natural phenomenon, but all you're learning is how lightning happens. Okay. Now let's also talk about the land. Let's say this is where you are. Let's say this is where you are. And let's say this is where you're standing with your umbrella. Okay, now guys, negative charges are at the bottom of the cloud. What happens to all the charges here? Suppose let's say there is positive and negative as well. Since there is negative charges here, 
what happens to like charges people what happens to like charges like charges dash like charges repel right exactly so all the like charges negative charges are thrown away they are all pushed away and what is remaining remaining is only positive charges only positive charges are there everywhere got it only positive charges in all the places got it now what happens is guys there is air between both of this all right so air is a poor conductor of electricity it doesn't allow the charges to meet but after one point too much charges get collected too much charges the 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 clouds are no longer able to hold these charges separated so what happens is the charges finally meet what happens when charges meet tell me people what happens when charges meet thor comes <laughs> lightning happens right the other name for lightning it's also called as what it's also called as electric discharge happens electric discharge happens now this is fine but what happens if the charges meet from the clouds to this person so this negative and this positive meets what will happen tish 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 then that is when lightning strikes the people that is when thor strikes you <laughs> all right exactly if air is a bad conductor of electricity so how can electricity pass through air because sayada there is lot of charges the air is not able to withstand the amount of electricity since there are a lot of charges trying to go air finally allows it okay because there is too much this is how lightning actually happens guys it's not because of thor or zeus or anybody <laughs> all right now let's go to our slides so one interesting person you know he was the one who told us that lightning is actually electricity okay now who was it we all know that lightning is nothing but the transfer of electrons from the atmosphere to the earth the negative charges in the cloud push away all the negative charges in the ground only leaving positive charges when there is a net transfer of positive energy from the cloud to the ground as i told you that is when we consider that lightning strikes okay great now like this guys look at this but this happens very quick but this gif is very slow it's a very slow lightning here <laughs> got it yes so benjamin franklin was the person who discovered this lightning is nothing but electricity all right but how let's see so benjamin franklin actually flew a kite he flew a kite which had a metal key to find out if if, if lightning was really uh, electricity or not how crazy how crazy isn't it amazing right so what he did on june 10 1975 benjamin franklin used this kite experiment to prove lightning is electricity he got he was so brave that he went out today to i am going to fly my kite when there is lightning happening so he took his kite during a thunderstorm to collect some charges in a leiden's jar you will be learning about this leiden's jar soon enabling him to demonstrate that there is a connection there is a link between lightning and electricity see will you be will you be that brave <laughs> to fly uh, you know kite during uh, lightning look at that crazy right so the electricity uh, fr from in from blankets the electricity which forms in blankets is the same it's because of charges right it's the same it's the same in clouds also very good question and a lightning can be super strong because a bolt of lightning is 10 billion watts my god if that much electricity passes through anybody rest in peace too much electricity guys it leave burn marks so what you should do what you should not do during a lightning is go inside when you hear a thunder find a sturdy house uh, you know house or a building or a car with a roof stay indoors for at least 30 minutes after you see your last Uh, your la after you hear your last thunder what you should not do 
retreat to dugouts sheds pavilions picnic shelters other small structures don't take shelter there it's not a safe place use or touch of electronics outlets corded phones landlines sitting near the windows no go near to a uh, going near to a tall tree tall building uh, near running water no so these are the things which you should do which you should not do. okay all right so that is it for today guys this is a very small class where we learned about how lightning actually happens and lightning is not because of thor <laughs> okay now i am going to give you guys all a homework so you guys are going to give me what are the two weapons of thor that is your first question first question is tell me the two weapons of Th thor that he has in marvel okay and also tell me one more thing that what is one more interesting fact about benjamin franklin okay so let let me know in the comment section for these answers i hope all of you guys had fun in today's session we will meet up tomorrow okay so until then guys this is me mohan signing off and don't forget to forget to check out the vedantu courses where will you find the vedantu courses scroll down my video you will find the links for grade 6th grade 7th grade 8th also for foundation courses if you guys want to take up any of these courses what are you waiting for take it right today because for one year the course price is just 8100 for three subjects for three subjects is just 8100 take it up right today do not wait all right great so show this to your parents check out the entire website the links are right here and while taking it up use my coupon code which is mkpro that's my coupon code to get 10 percent off don't forget it i'll see you guys on the next class all right so until then this is me Mohan signing off guys all of you take care stay safe stay as lovely as always you guys and have a good day guys bye bye